Danny and I talk with Colin and Helen Direct helping people do their business better. So we're at the Zoom booth at Enterprise Connect 2024 with Jose Mateo, and they're going to share some of the cool, exciting things that are happening at Zoom. Jose, take it away. Hey, yeah, thanks, Danny. So uh, what we're showing here in our booth is our new workplace experience. So uh, we announced Zoom Workplace, and what we're showing here is that Zoom is more than just meetings, right? Yep. Uh, but we have improved a lot of the meeting experience. Mm -hmm. So historically, we've had just individual tiles and everything yep. like Art that. Gallery, yep. We've now, yep, with the gallery. But now what we've done is we've added a like a bunch of like more dynamics to this. So starting off with like the way the system looks, right? So I can come in here and I can change this. Notice that the background here is rose. Yep. Is what we're calling it. So I can go in here and I can change it out to a different color called agave. So if I come back here and I start going to my settings and I look down here in this uh, tray, I can change. I could start changing the background now to either that or the traditional what we call zoom bloom, right? Yep. In in all of the systems that's there. So that's kind of first, right? Just that. And then the other thing is what you'll notice is the dynamic speakers. So whoever the latest speaker is will change in and out based on you know who's got the floor, if you will. Oh. And right now we're trying to put two, we yeah. can add four or five, whatever. And before, in order for me to do that, I would have had to like pin somebody right. and keep them pinned or you know spotlight them for everyone. We're doing this now dynamically, right? Based on the people, you can see that Panda's coming in and out, Jose Osue is coming in and out. Yeah. Um, the other thing that we have, which is really, really killer, and you may want to zoom into this area right here, but this is the current experience for any platform that's out there when you want to share a piece of content is, yes. let me share, yep. stop sharing, yep. let you share, stop sharing. What we're doing now is we're adding what we call multi-share, right? So multiple people are sharing multiple pieces of content, and I can tab in to see which piece of content I want to log into or what I want to watch or anything like that. Um, so we could all either collaborate on a whiteboard or, and notice by the way, this is uh, Clara's desktop and Clara's whiteboard, right? So you could have one person sharing multiple people uh, 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 pieces of content or you can have multiple people se uh, sharing multiple uh, content wow. and we just tab it out, right? That's awesome. And the great thing about it is um, it's based on what I want to see, what's most important to me. Mm -hmm. Common questions we've gotten on that is, well, what about if the host wants to create and follow uh, anything like that? That's not available yet, but we're, we're working on that. All right. What do you think? What else? Uh, no, let's see. What, oh, another thing we can do is uh, that we were just playing with a minute ago. So virtual backgrounds. We always want to set virtual backgrounds, right? So now when I choose a virtual background, I can actually theme that out. So give me a, give me a theme. What would you like your virtual background to look like? Give me something that comes know. to mind. Something. Land, the beach. The beach. Well, why in the beach? Well, give me a funky beach. Like a, uh, what do you think? A beach with dragons in the there background. There you go, beach, beach with dragons. With dragons yeah. uh, in the background. In the background, right? And so now what will happen is we're doing AI generated virtual ah. backgrounds, right? And so here is this virtual background now with a beach with a dragon in the background. Right, and so now I, may, I make that my own, I set it, and now there's my new virtual background. So basically, you're truly offering customization uh, and personalization, utilizing AI and some of these newer features. That's exactly right, That's yep. Awesome. yep. Is this available now, or when is this coming? So this is all available in preview for us right now. This will be available over the next few months. Like, awesome. next month, we'll drop some stuff. Next month, we'll keep iterating on this. So what uh, our current like dot release is like a 5x feature. Mm -hmm. This will be everything new with our new meeting 6 dot x and above. Fantastic! I I love it. Awesome. I love it. All right. So here we are in the intelligent director room over at Enterprise Connect, and so we have this cool setup with the Poly Equipment Multi Camera Solution. And so Jose, tell us more about this. Yeah. So what we're showing in here, the first thing you're going to notice is we have this technology called smart tags. And what you'll see is that I'm recognized, right? And we'll show you this even, if the, the, the more wow factor of this once we get to the other side. But I'm listed here, I've opted into this, right? So I'm allowing for the system to recognize who I am. Ashana's sitting, she, she recognized who she is. Somebody else will walk in from the outside 
that's also opted in and the system is going to recognize that a new participant has come in and if that person is opted in, they're going to go ahead and be recognized and the system will put a, a name tag on that person as well. Ooh. So there's Jeff Shirts, right? Nice. He's been noticed. And uh, Now where this really, the power of this is on the far end. So follow me over. Let's go to the far end. Where that, that's the conference room experience. This is the yeah, home, after that, yeah. this is the home user experience. So if I go here and I join that same meeting that's over there, one of the challenges that we've had in a conference room, can you let me in the meeting, please? You gotta let him in the meeting. Yeah, let him in. So one of the challenges we've experienced in in the home user in the home user environment is Who's in the meeting? I don't know who those people are. The only thing I get is the name of the room on the yep. bottom here, right? Yep. But now with smart tagging, I know who that is in the room because they've opted in and now each one of them gets a name that's their name uh, put into the system. Awesome. And so I noticed it kind of went away. So it only, it doesn't need to stay up there, right? right? I know, I want to know who that is. I wiggle my mouse there you and, go. and it's just kind of like my toolbar, right? My toolbar doesn't always need to be there. It's only yeah. when I need it. Right, so that's the idea. Awesome. Notice the Logi gear in this room. So they had Poly gear in the other room, Logi gear in this room. So we we introduced last year. We introduced something called Smart Gallery. And Smart yeah. Gallery, what it did was it was a multi-camera system, and and it all and it allowed for people to be put into different frames. Well, e there was ch a challenge even with that because if somebody was sitting in front of someone else and and the camera was being blocked so notice me i'm being blocked right yeah so what will happen though is that another camera will have a better angle of me and the system should switch and show oh oh sorry so no, now we're going to switch to intelligent oh, okay okay so, that was multi-stream i'm yeah. sorry so now we oh, will switch we to intelligent director oh, and what right. you'll see is as i hide behind jeff's face that camera was the one that was recognizing Ooh. me. But watch what will happen now is that camera has a better angle of yeah. me. And it'll show me better on, in that way. So, so I'm always going to get the best angle based on which camera can see me better. And that's all being done through our intelligence, our AI. Yeah, that's engine. awesome. But so this is, this is all coming soon. This is all room. available today. Oh, this is available now. The, the smart tagging is not yet available, but the intelligence the director, director and all that stuff is available today. I got to go test this when we get back to the uh, Yeah, you do. Center. Yeah. Test it's a three camera features. solution, USB into our device. It's, oh, does that's it, right, because then you have a multi-camera solution. Yeah. Okay, yeah. That's right. So here are some cool solutions. These are like all-in-ones that you can use as virtual receptionist or other features that you're going to share with us. That's right. Uh, because this is becoming more and more uh, popular and requested. So share it. Share away. Yeah. Okay. So um, what we're noticing in offices is that people don't have like dedicated offices that much anymore. We have a lot of hybrid work, pop in, pop out. And so the idea is how do I reserve? What do I do for like workspace reservations, right? Mm -hmm. So what we've added is, this is an aerial view of the booth that we're standing on. And what we see is a bunch of different areas that are available, right? So for me, if I say, you know, I really want to have a conference room meeting, I click on that and I can come in and I can reserve it for the amount of time that I want. And then once I'm ready for that, I can click next, I'll scan my QR code and I will reserve it with my QR code. Nice. And then once I get over to that area, then I will check in on that area and it'll become me. The beauty there is that the system becomes you. So that if you walk in the room, that call is not coming from Blue Room Poly, it's, calling for, it's coming from Danny. Oh, that's because awesome. it's use, and it's using your calendar. You've already got your meeting set up, one yeah, touch yeah. door when you walk into those rooms. The other thing as well is, oh, well, cool, how do I get directions? I want to know how to get to that actual room and we'll draw you out a map and show you how everything yeah, will go through cool. wayfinding or anything like that. Awesome. And, so then, we got over and here? then on the other side here, and then on the other side here, we've added what we call visitor management as well. Mm -hmm. So one is reserving your space, but now once I get into the space, how do I know that it's me? Maybe I'm bringing a guest in or anything like that. So what I can do is I can have my system come out here, register, right? So I register who I am, everything about myself, and then once I register and I click next, the person will receive it. The, the person that I'm visiting will receive an email, and then they'll send me an invite info, and then I'll put 
my in-flight in there and I'll, I'll be registered in the system. I'll have a badge printer, mm -hmm. print my badge out, and I'm here to see Danny, whatever, whatever. And then when I get into the building, I, I click here, I, make a, I meet the receptionist. This will pop up and pop back down. You'll see it in a second because I've enabled AI Companion, but here I am, right? And we are uh, recording and I'm talking to the receptionist. Receptionist lets me in. I show and I verify that I am who I am, and then I'm out. There you go, some super innovative technology coming from Zoom here at Enterprise Connect 2024. If you like this type of content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below. Let us know what you'd like to see, and we'll do our best to make it. Thanks, Jose. Thank you, brother. All Appreciate right. you, Danny. Yeah.